Welcome, gang. I am Gina Ogren, and I am the founder of Go Fitness Virtual, getting ready to do the stability class today. I always like to call it fall prevention because uh, that's what we're really trying to do, right? We're trying to keep you from falling, and um, that's a big, big, big issue. Uh, so we need to, to think about that. We'll work on our, first we'll work on our posture, we'll work on our core strengthening, we'll work on our legs, strengthening them, and then using those muscles so that we get a, um, a bigger range of motion. Uh, as we get older, those muscles kind of want to tighten up instead of, you know, lifting your toe when you walk, you might shuffle a little bit more. I mean, that's just the easiest example of it, but it's picking your knees up, having, having the front of your hips strong so that your leg can, can step up onto a stair and you can get up higher. Um, if you can't lift that high, then you run into the stair and then you fall forward, right? And that's, you're lucky if you're falling forward versus falling the other way. So just things to, to be thinking of. We'll also work on a little bit of uh, our vision, our spatial awareness we call proprioception. It's where our body is in space. And a lot of times, you just, it's some, not something you think about, right? Where my body is in space, what are you talking about? Well, you're, you're constantly, your eyes are taking messages in, your ears are taking messages in, your body's taking messages in, everything around you, and we want to use those tools so that we can help balance ourselves, know where we are um, in, in the world. Some people just don't know. You've been in those where you cluster in a group of people and they're stopped looking around and you're like, no, this is a line that's supposed to be moving or whatever the case may be. No spatial awareness. But we're going to do some eye exercises to kind of help with that as well. So, all right, I'm going to slide my chair out of the way. We're going to warm up though like always. Feet out wide, toes pointed toward the corners of the room. We're going to go side to side. Shoulders back. Let's think about really elongating our spine. Good, and as you're moving side to side, now I want you to just take your hands to the outside of your thighs, reach down, your fingers may go just to your knees, maybe you can take it to that upper part of your calf, that's great. Good job. Going. And now we're going to take one arm and let's just move it in a figure eight as you're moving side to side. So by going side to side with those legs, you're feeling that shift of your body weight. One side, then the other. The arm just kind of adds more pressure each way, right? going side to side. Now let's extend the other arm. Here it is. Figure eight. Good, good. Side to side, you can hold on to those legs, or if you feel like you want to reach out, you'll feel that weight going a little more toward that thigh. So you want to make sure those feet are wide, especially in this move where we're reaching out. Take those hands in front, come down, let's work those legs a little bit. So the arms are out in front, it's kind of like you're making a circle, little pulses. Now we're just going to go side to side. So we're getting our core muscles involved again in a different way because you're upright. 
when we were going side to side. We were working the core, I promise. Okay, now if you have shoulder issues, I want you to take a circle right here. You can take a lift up over your head, circle around. You're gonna feel a little different stretch in the arms, but also your tummy kind of moves like you're doing the hula hoop. Other way. Were you a good hula hooper? I wasn't so good, but my mom was a champ. And rest it down. Yeah, it just loosens up around those hips in a different way, and it's kind of fun. All right, I gotta grab a drink. If you need one, grab one, but. Mine's because I'm talking all the time. I need to wet my whistle. Okay, so we're warming our body up. Now we're gonna go um, to diagonals with our legs. So I'm gonna have you start with your feet together. We're going to just take a, a diagonal step and then bring it back. So you can keep it small if you want. Small step, back. Just shift body weight, your body catches, okay? That's what I want you to start those first few. Good. See, I'm coming up. You know, I'm planting one foot back. The other foot, I'm kind of coming up on that toe. Okay. Now I'm going to think about keeping that foot down, but I'm getting into more of a lunge where I'm pushing that body weight back up to center. I talk about that all the time, but it is so important that you absorb that body weight and push your body back up. And I'm just trying to step in different directions because you never know when you lose your balance, right? Which direction you're going. So you have to train it to respond. Whatever chances are when you're going forward, we do more of that forward motion when, um, when we're, we're walking, right? So we kind of get a feel for that a little bit more. But I like to work the outsides of your hips. And by going in these different diagonals, I'm strengthening those hips so that they, because they're big muscles, a lot of that balance stuff takes place in this midsection too. Good. But your legs have to be strong enough to push you back up. Hello, Judy. How are you? Wonderful. Hi, Bill. Bill, I loved your picture. You had a good one this weekend. One more time through. Lunge and lunge and then open up back and open up back and rest. Hello and thank you for joining us for the short sample of one of my Go Fitness Virtual fitness classes. I'm Gina Ogren, the founder of GoFitnessVirtual.com. And I'm John Ogren, Gina's husband and sidekick. If you like this sample of Gina's class, we hope you'll visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com where we have over 800 recorded fitness classes designed for active older adults. We also have live classes almost every day. That's right. Just go to GoFitnessVirtual.com and click the Get Started button to learn about becoming a member. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope to see you in class. You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercise demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. Remember, it's your body and your responsibility. If you like this lesson, come visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com.